today I will be showing you five must-visit brunch spots for different types of food. <laughs> First up are pancakes. You guys have to visit Nojit's Temple Kitchen. Their pancakes are so darn fluffy and so good. <laughs> Not to mention the manager is super nice, the staff are all very friendly, so it makes the entire experience extremely enjoyable. The pancakes are served with a blueberry sauce, whipped cream, and also maple syrup. And oh, just just look at that drizzle. Ugh, so good. I also got an Americano, my favorite drink, and also their big brunch skillet, which has pulled pork, roasted onions, and sunny side up eggs. It's also very, very, very good. <laughs> And then next up, we have the Asian brunch. Casamoto is located in Yorkville, and they used to have an actual brunch menu, but they got rid of it. But you can still go there for their awesome patio and a nice brunch. Just pick from their lunch menu. <laughs> I really like their patio because even though it was kind of chilly, they provided us with blankets, which is really nice of them, and it's so nice and cozy. My friend and I ordered their bento boxes, which um, can't say it's anything out of the ordinary, but the entire vibe of the place is just worth going to for sure. Did brunch even happen if you don't take a bunch of nice photos? So of course, third up on the list is the most IG-worthy brunch spot, which happens to be Lavelle. They have a rooftop area and a pool and also a really nice grassy area. So lots of different places you can take photos at. I would recommend you guys to make a reservation so you can sit inside comfortably because the tables outside are a bit small. Besides the view, the food is actually pretty good. We got their pulled pork eggs benedict. The pulled pork was a bit dried, but the hollandaise sauce was super good. It was nice and tart. I really liked it. I'm going to be filming the last two brunch spots within the next few days, so subscribe and you'll see the video up on my channel very soon. I'll see you guys soon. Bye!